That's the winner. It's not even close. Not, no contest. That, like, it's still on the front of my palate. Yeah, you know? me too. And there's the hug. Mm. Oh. That is the best experience you can get in whiskey. All right, welcome back to Beyond Bourbon. Today we have, so far, uh, the video I'm most excited for this year. Now this is yeah. only our third or fourth oh, video of the year. Yeah. <laughs> but we have not been huge Larson Barrel Proof people before. Like, we've never bought one. Not that we've not enjoyed it. Mm. Like, we've not bought one. Well, we have bought three in the past two weeks. Yeah. So, <laughs> Some kind of, somewhat accidental, but And we... actually, prior to Fred Minnick's top 100, yes. we had bought two, we had bought B523 and C923. Yes. And so that happened accidentally because now they're impossible to find. Like, secondary, they're going up. Yeah. And I wish I didn't open it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Honestly. They're going, they're just harder and harder to find. Luckily enough, my dad was in Chattanooga in December. Mm -hmm. Right after Christmas, and he found A124. So even early for that one. Yeah. I mentioned for a minute, because for those of you who don't know, B523 and C923 got second and third place. C923 was second place. B523 was third place. And Fred Minnick's top 100, which is like the God Almighty. Creme de la Creme. <laughs> like, <laughs> that is, <clears throat> you've made it yeah, as a brand yeah. if you're out there. And to be two bottles in the top three is absolutely He's insane. Not, has ever happened before? No. And the first bottle was the uh, Prohibition Stag which is a thousand dollar bottle from Buffalo Trace for exactly. a three seven five, I think. So and these like, are seventy dollars. Yeah, I mean that's such a good deal. Well, that's probably the average price, honestly, because I paid, I paid fifty five with a discount, so fifty two dollars for the B five twenty three. Which, which is say, right? Like, <laughs> I, what is, what does Evan Hill do? It. They have the best like valued barrel proof products. Yeah, I don't understand. So C nine twenty three and this and B were both always really good, and we got the new one. I want to see how this compares. We've had this once before, quickly like a. Uh, at over dinner kind of drink. Yep. We enjoyed it. I don't like, I'm very interested to see how it goes up. How it compares because could this be on another whiskey of the year list for us? Could be early on, but you know, it could, we could save a lot of the bottle. We do have to save a lot of the bottle. So A124. Surprisingly is 124 proof. Oh, keeps, nice. it, keeps it easy. Uh, C923 is 126.4 proof. And then B523 is 124.4. This one's point two. Yeah. So they're all within a two, proof, two proof points of each other. So that's a very fair comparison. Of Age, course, all the same ash bill. Ages we don't know. And it's like when we, we never bought these before because Nobody, everyone was always like, yeah, they're pretty good. And some people were like, well, those are amazing. Yeah, most people like Elijah Craig is better. Yeah. And so we're like, if we're going to buy a, a Bear Proof Heaven Hill product, we're probably going to buy Elijah Craig <clears> if we can find it. Because they're just as hard to find, honestly. Yeah, they are. Right? Like, I. I have always found them equally hard to find as Elijah Craig Barrel Proofs. Mm -hmm. And we love Elijah Craig Barrel Proof. Yes. Prior to C923, that was still some of our favorite pours. C923 was like, Insane. I think industry yeah. changing. It, I agree, especially because you take away the age statement. You come back and you give an 11 year one for B523. And then you're like, you know what? We're gonna step up a game. We're gonna give you a 14 year old whiskey. Yeah, you a 14 year old whiskey. <laughs> some people have rumored to have like 15 year old whiskey in there. It was um, insane. Yeah. I think my favorite pour of last year. Another thing I'm really excited about, <laughs> yeah, is we haven't done a blind like this before. We've done oh, blinds with true. different products. This is the first time we've had a blind of three the same vertical product. vertical tasting. Vertical tasting. This is like the most minute, like our palettes have to be refined and tuned for this <laughs> and we're just gonna, it's all gonna blend together. We're labeling this video as an A124 review because once we do find out what that is, we will say how it stacks up. But there's no better way to review something to compare it off of two insanely good yes. past offerings. If it competes, if it stands up with these two, then we know we're in for a mm -hmm. good beginning start for the for sure. okay. so Round one the is the nose. Ding, ding, ding. <laughs> Sound effects. Oh, Sound holy. Idea. holy. Caramels. Oh my gosh. Dude, that is insane. Man, I, I, this is one of my favorite lines, I think. Already. That's a caramel cake is what that is. Like it's uh, with it the is. icing and stuff. Like that is yes, amazing. Yes, that is a caramel cake. Oh my gosh. Like, like cupcake wars, they make like the most extravagant <laughs> cupcakes. This was like a lava volcano of, 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 of caramel. Larceny barrel proof lava. <laughs> that isn't, like that smells like a dessert. It honestly, does. Right? Like, I, 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 you could trick me into thinking I'm smelling a legit dessert. Wow. One. Glass one. is amazing. Like an absolute perfect glass of a smell. Yep. If I was gonna choose a whiskey smell, I think that might be it. The one thing, yeah. One thing to note, no uh, ethanol. Yeah, that's a very true. It does 124 to 126 proof. It's one of those. Yep. And it's nothing. No ethanol. That's <laughs> two. Fruitier. Not much, as caramel. Much different. That makes me feel so much better. Whew, I was getting nervous there for a second. Yeah, there's. Uh, wow, I wouldn't tell you it's the same thing. 
That's way more this, wow, well foolproof. Well, yeah, I was gonna say this is a <laughs> Buffalo Trace esque yeah. nose to it. Mm. Still really good. Not very caramely. Not nearly as good as one. No, for my palate, at least. I mean, oh. oh my gosh, dude. would you tell me that's the same? That's insane. There's no way this is the same. Also, we open these fairly the same time too. Like there's- a Within a week of each other this maybe? <laughs> the variance is little to none on this. Two is good. And I think I would appreciate that most yeah. times if it didn't follow one. One, I, yeah, C923 is my favorite. And I think that could be one. I'm not gonna make guesses, but like that's in my head, I think. To try to dip We'll have to make these. guesses in the end just to see yeah. if we can tell off of the one time we've had in 124. If we can guess these three right, this is our video to prove that we actually know what we're talking yeah, about. Yeah, very, very true. <laughs> we're not just random dudes on YouTube <laughs> drinking whiskey. Glass three. Okay. It, it's a mix between the two. Uh, it, it's a combination of both. One is by far my favorite coming off of those three noses. Me too. Honestly, maybe B's or two is better than three because. This one doesn't know what it's trying to be. I would have to agree. This smells lighter too, right? Like it's yeah. harder to it, find it, a note there for me. I mean, I've smelled 100 proofers that have a little bit more on the nose than that. Honestly. We, we just came off an upgrade nine, like yeah. just 100 proof nine. That was here. a shockingly good nose for 100 proof. But that good. one, like, it's good. Go back through them all. Oh man, that's good. One more time. And I think we should- Three is getting better. Here. Two's staying the same for me. It's still extremely fruity. Yep. And then let's go back to one. Okay, I know my <laughs> ranking. Let's do the ranking. <laughs> that is so sweet. Like. <laughs> it tastes like a flavored whiskey. Yeah, it smells like that wild turkey spice or something. <laughs> That's insane. Like literally, it tastes smells like that. It's oh so, my. so good. Okay. okay, are you ranking them? Let's rank them each round. I think it, we're gonna have the same ranking, but go ahead. My least favorite is actually last two. Mm -hmm. I'm with you on that. Three for second yeah. place, and then first one, my favorite one for round one. This the nose is gonna be glass number one. So, so you guys will see which one of these. Is it's glass fun. what what won the nose? This can yeah. be a harder video. Together, <laughs> yeah, but um, bear with us. Yeah, but what you're seeing as one of these three is the leader in the nose, and we'll have you can see it on the screen yep. there as the top three. I'll have like a tally point system. Yeah, that's ranking. great. Yeah, I'll make it cool. Hopefully. Color, we're all the same. Like by like, literally look the color, exact there's, same. There's there's not gonna be variance in color. It's age the same exact place. <laughs> everything matches. Should we give one the benefit of the doubt and like give it last? You know, like, should we go taste wise? Should we I go think, yeah, but three, three two, one? Okay. I think this would be too good, in my opinion. That's it's, off these the nose. Two that's just, exactly yeah. how I feel. And we try. We started here with the nose, so we give it a fair chance. We'll start with glass three for the taste. Glass three for round two, of the taste. Probably just two rounds. <laughs> <laughs> this one, if I would not tell you, is a weeder. It's coming across a little mm. rice spicy. Like there's some baking spices, a little peppery maybe. It's still really good. Like it, it's in very very good. Not like. Not ultra sweet. That's mm -hmm. why I like about like a lot of Jacob Bianco so much. It's like it's always like drinking a dessert. Yeah. Ready for the palate? Yep. Oh. Mm. Man, that's good. And it's really good. <laughs> I'm just like. Mm. It does have a Weller full proof, but just like even more proof. The finish is like perfect. Mm -hmm. Where it has that hug. It's hug. It's the but hug. But it's not burn. No, it's not burn. It's just a slight hug. They proofed this to the perfect whatever. Yeah. I mean, their barrels come out perfectly for this because. With that weeded, you can afford that extra proof and not really kill you, right? Yeah. And so, it, sometimes it comes off a funky, but this is not funky. This is just nice, smooth, warm hug. Man, that's good. Great mouthfeel. A big complaint we have with um, weeded. higher proof weeded is it always becomes more funky. That's a, <laughs> like, more funky. <clears throat> that is insanely good. Yeah, I'm gonna the, get it. The finish, yeah. I'm still tasting on my palate. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna go back to it because yep, that's the first sip of the notes there. I'm not confident on. Yeah, I agree that it's kind of hard to come up with a note for that one. It's like a little nutty. Like I get nuts, like a little nutty. I get a little cherry. Yeah, I'm starting to get the little fruits are coming through. A little red fruit action. The structure of the whiskey is perfect. Or the finish, yes. the proof, everything. I I want more, more flavor. Yeah, a little more sweetness. That's why I am. A little more sweetness on that one. Not as good as I hoped it to be after smelling it that last time and even smelling it before tasting it. Yep. Okay, let's go glass two. Glass two. So two is our least favorite nose. Mm -hmm. Still the same way for me. It comes off like a Sharpie note. Like it's like, you know those like um, yeah. fruit markers yep. that you send the to smell? Yeah. Yeah. Or mm -hmm. even like those stickers that smell, or scratch smell like, yeah, yeah, scratch and sniff. That's exactly what that smells like to me. It really does. It smells like one of those like generic artificial flavors for like yeah. fruit or something. It's getting worse, if I'm gonna be honest here. 
after coming off of three, three was not, eh. Yeah. The nose isn't there for me. This I isn't like, the nose I like. I do like how it is just fruit forward. It's it's trying to be fruity, that's all it is. I'm not, it's not ambiguous as yeah. much. Yeah. I don't, yeah, I don't the know. The Sharpie, no, I agree. Yeah, it's it's not good. A little strange, yeah. Yeah. Palette's better. A lot better. Yeah. Um, mm, that's good. It's, it, it has a more of a burn than a hug. A yeah, bit. I don't have any finish there. The finish is light, but it, it drinks lighter. The, the whole thing is just a lighter experience, but it is sweet. It has more sweetness than this one, I honestly do believe. But it's a fruity sweet. It's almost like, like, um, like a juice. maraschino cherries. Yeah. Like the, the juice, like if you're making a Shirley Temple, yeah. you know, like the juice you pour into Shirley Temple, that's what that tastes like. Or if you're okay. dipping like um, angel food cake in like a strawberry mixture. Like I was liquid. thinking like a, yeah, like a, a compost, like a yeah. berry compost. Yeah. Like you're just cooking down those berries. It is very fruit forward to me though. It's um, good, but I'm let down. Let down. A little nutty in the back. <clears throat> I like the experience of three better. Yeah. Like you said, the structure, but the flavors I'm getting on two might edge this one out a little bit. I, I'm in with my you on opinion. that. I don't know how we're gonna rank this. I wish we, cause they're two totally different things. Yeah. Like I like again, those are two different whiskeys in my opinion. I would not have said they come from the same place and literally different batches of the same stuff. That's crazy Man, that's to tough. say. That is so tough. I'm if like, you don't oh. think whiskey's <laughs> different, every whiskey's the do same. Do this. Do this blind. This is crazy. <laughs> the only other thing we could do that's even like different single barrels of the same product that we yeah. just at the same time would be even Which, like, more. Be on the lookout. Might be coming up. Yeah. Little up, teaser. Up. <laughs> All right. Glass one. We'll go to hit. That was our favorite nose. It's going to be it. I'm excited to go back to this one. Oh, cheers. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, dude. And what, dude? I poured the wrong thing. You might like, have. This might be like Russell thirteen oh or something. Gosh. This is better than Russell thirteen on the nose. That is just like this is more like the best can... nose. This is almost more like the Jack Daniels barrel proof yes, because yes, it's just yes. so overwhelmingly dude, flavorful so and sweet. Yes. That, like, I can put my mm. entire nose. Yeah, and I would enjoy. This every... is a hundred and twenty-four proof minimum. Could be one twenty-six. <sighs> My entire nose is that absolutely nothing. Like nothing. no ethanol, like not, nothing as in flavor, but no yes, ethanol. Yes. I get some brown sugar. Brown sugar is great. Brown sugar, icing, syrup, the, honey. The, the buttercream icing is what I keep coming to. Like, or maybe cream cheese icing. One of the two. Yeah, like a cheesecake. Oh, dude, that is like, could be one of my favorite noses of the year. Oh yeah, I really hope it's A124 so we can put that in the 2024 <laughs> list. Whatever this is, is absolutely perfect. This, so far, let's, I can't wait to drink it. Let's just do it. Let's do it, cheers. <laughs> yeah, that's the winner. It's not even close, not, no contest. That, like, it's still in the front of my palate. Yeah, yeah, me too. And there's the hug. Mm. Oh. That is the best experience you can get in whiskey. It has whatever these two have Mix them together. Best parts of those mm -hmm. is in this one. Well, you mix them together, it might be it. This number one. Well, number one oh. is head and shoulders over these two. The mouthfeel is so caramely, so just so smooth, gross. creamy, rich flavors. That makes me emotional. Like that is <laughs> insanely mm. good. It's got like a coffee, like you, coffee is good. Not just like cheap Folgers coffee. This is like you went to an artisan, like Puerto Can Rican coffee. Yes, yeah. yeah. <laughs> just like like some pour over method. Like this is insanely wow. good. Wow. I have no clue which one that could be. I don't either. That's one of the best squeezes I've had in a while. If I'm being completely honest. It's not even close. Wow. Not even close. Especially for $100. If you, I don't even know. I don't That's going to be one of the best values. I, I want to and try these headed up against with Elijah Craig because yeah. in my mind, Elijah Craig bread proofs are always better, but this might stand That's up. so it. good. How does this? Turn into this, dude. Like, this <laughs> oh. is decent, but like, well, how do you on. turn this into that? Actually, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> like, you yeah, know what I mean? exactly, like, ex exactly. Dude, that nose on one is one of the best smells I've had in my entire life. I would agree. Like, like this is what I, mean, I want in my just my yeah. cologne. I don't even know. Like, I'm trying to think of something <laughs> I smell more than anything else. Like, yeah, like I've been to candle places. They always have like the coolest names, and you smell. And it's like, ooh, that don't smell good. This, if this was a candle, I'd burn it every night. Yeah. If this was dessert, I would eat it every day. And if this was more affordable, it's still affordable, but like more findable. Yeah, I more would drink, findable. This, I would drink this every day. Oh, this would be my daily whiskey. Like The proof doesn't come across. I would go find a, uh, a whole box. Yeah. A 12 pack case. Yeah, I would buy a case of this. 12 pack, like a 12 beer. 12 packs, crush them. 
That's not right. If you crush a 12 pack of bourbon in a week, you're a monster. <laughs> You're also probably dead. <laughs> You're probably dead. That's like an average of two a day. <laughs> I'm sure someone's done it. There's no way. You can't be alive after that. Two bottles a day? If you had enough water to substitute in food, you'd probably, you'd, you'd have, you'd, you'd have alcohol to poison. Uh, yeah. You'd pump your stomach after, but I'm sure you could do it. Maybe not two bottles a day. One bottle a day, though, is pretty, pretty reasonable. Yeah. Reasonable. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Go We're going to decide between two and three. One is the clear winner here. To me. Yep. I'm gonna put it ahead. Nose, I'm going to get back to three for me. Cause it's getting closer to that one. I don't enjoy the fruitiness level of two. Yeah, I think we're good with three there. In my opinion. Let me see. It's one, two, three for me. It's one, three, two for me. Okay. I, I, I enjoy two a lot more after three. The structure three is better, but there's nothing there. Like the structure without the flavor for me is nothing. Uh, I get a little flavor. Oh, I like. No, hold on. I like that prune. No, no, I'm, no I'm going one three two. Yeah, one three two. One three two. Yeah, uh, it's okay. after having three. That finish is still there. It, it was experience. This one just burns. That one it means so much more because that finish is still there. Like it, I'm still mm -hmm. feeling. Yeah, and I'm getting some caramel up of it now. I like three better than two. Yeah, I'm with you. And then nose, nose and palate yeah. for me. Yep. Okay, C923, okay. A124, B523. I'm gonna go, I'm just gonna shock everybody. I think this one is B. Okay. I think this one's C. Okay. I think this one is the new A. So we think A, we, yeah, we, we just switched, we switched one and three. It, I just can't rationalize that this is somehow better than the top two whiskeys of last year. There's no way, right? What okay. if I had top we'll three? three? We'll three. start with third place, Okay. which is glass number two. Glass number two is letter B. Is it C923? C923. Oh my gosh. <laughs> that makes me feel good because we still have a chance. We still have a chance for A124. A24 could be this one. I okay. don't, this one doesn't, this, okay. it does, I don't remember it. This one's familiar to me. That's why I thought it was C because I took C home and was drinking C. So this one's familiar to me. All right, all this right. could be A. <laughs> Second place. Could be the soccer of the year. We'll see. C. A124. Damn uh, it. <laughs> so good, though. man. You guessed it right, though, right? No, no, you flipped nope. these two. Yeah. But you did get. Yeah. Okay. So, first place is going to be class A, a which is B523, which is which the. Which I said was the. No, which is that. I said which was the best. What's going to be the best one? Right? B523 is, is the winner. Is the winner here. A124 beating C923, though, is a complete shocker for us because we really enjoyed C923 when we had it. We enjoyed it today, too. Like, that's another thing. Keep this relevant because we enjoy all three of these whiskeys, but the difference is very minimal. Could be 523 is another level, right? Like if I was going to score them, which I didn't want to do because it's just confusing, but if I was going to score them, these, the, the second and third place products would be just a few points off from each other, mm -hmm. right? That, this glass right here would have been 10 points more than the other one. It is not even close. I have that one easily. This one's just killing me. One eternity later. Oxygen too. That doesn't even look so. It looks so good. <laughs> yes. Well, anyways, we really appreciate you guys watching because B five twenty three was a complete shocker for me. That was one of the best products I've had in a very long time. Yeah. I am pretty disappointed that A one twenty four wasn't that one because I was, hey like that was amazing. It wasn't the worst either though. A one twenty four is still good. Like I'm excited to come back to that one later, and that's the bottle we have most full. Like that's like you yeah. Know, <laughs> hey, and if you're searching for C, and you're like, oh, I want it so bad, so I'm, get B. Yeah, I, I found B in December. Jared found C nine twenty three in December. A one twenty four was found in December. All these were found last month. That's also an important thing to know. Like. The, the batches, you'll go into a random liquor store and they could have something from 2022. Yep. They could have something from 2021. Like I've seen that so many times for Elijah Craft Barrel Proofs. And now that I'm looking for Larsen Barrel Proofs, I'm sure that's gonna be the same case. Yeah. So well, if you're gonna grab Larsen Barrel Proof, get this new one A, but maybe get B from yeah. last year. B I think if you can find it, that's amazing. That is gonna be one of the best whiskeys you're ever gonna try. I mean, well, thank you guys for watching. I know these videos can be pretty long and but we really enjoy doing blinds. So really do appreciate you guys watching. Before we go, I know we didn't really score them, but what would you score A? Just for our review of A. 
Just so if we do an end of the year list, we have a, a baseline score. For that's it. pretty close to the, the perfect whiskey for me. For A? Yeah. Right? Like, that's going to be not, not Not like the... Sorry, batch A. A124. Yes. Uh, okay, gotcha. Yes. What would you... Because that's the Because I think release. B523 was like 48 or 49 for me. I'm going to go that one was maybe... 46? Yeah, I was going to say 45. Like, that okay, is... It, it, I was down between those two. That's a 45. Really, really good. Maybe I'm going to go 45 as well. 90. 90 of 100. That's great. Great for us. Intr great. Best, best product that we've had. Yeah. That's fair to say. Best release this year, so. Yeah, <laughs> this year, yeah. <laughs> it, it, <laughs> so like, far. it is the first. It's, uh, February 7th. Yeah. <laughs> Second week of January. So thank you guys for watching. Cheers. Please like and subscribe. We never say that in our yes. videos, but it would hey, mean a lot for us. Share this video. Please, because we need to get our, like, watch hour up. Yeah, we for do. For being completely honest. Yeah, oh, transparency. Like, yeah, we that's got, what we're here for. If you didn't know, when you have a YouTube channel, in order to get monetized, which is the goal for most people, not like, all we care about, but like, it's not that we want to monetize for profit. It's no, we want to monetize for. We can make better videos. More videos. Yeah. You want some wall stuff? <laughs> you, uh, you know what I mean? Like, we can make better videos if we have some incentive to with money, yeah. right? And so, in order to do that, you have to have a thousand subscribers. Check. So we have that. So thank you guys for that. <laughs> but watch hours, we have four thousand watch hours. We're about two hundred of them in this video. It's about five percent. Um, so keep watching the videos. Put them on the background while you do your chores. Uh, so whatever you gotta do, help us get that watch hour up. That would be that would be everything. But if every person that's a sub watched for one hour, yeah. we would be there insanely quick. Be, like I know that one hour is a lot of time. Trust me, we understand. Yeah. Like that's why four thousand watch hours when we first started, we were like, Phew, that's never gonna happen. No. Yep. <laughs> but now that we have like we have sixteen hundred, seventeen hundred subs, like it's it's coming closer to two thousand. Like, and we, you don't understand how thankful we are we, for we are that. More than grateful. Like, I, I did not expect you to be this far at this point. We didn't. I. I just want to keep growing though. I want to keep, well, I think this is going to be our year. I it keep is, saying it, it everybody like this, hey, 2024, watch out. We're coming. We're beyond bourbon. This is to the moon. <laughs> to the moon. So yeah, thank This is a perfect video for you guys to share too. It's going yeah. to be pretty lengthy. It is. So that's going to really help with the watch hours. So we really appreciate it. If you got this far in the video, please leave a comment, like, share, and subscribe. Yep. On that note. Cheers. And we'll see you next week.